Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. Today, I want to take some time and answer a question that came in in an email from a viewer. Now, this might sound like a silly question, but it's a question I have received many times in the past. And it's one of those things that I think there's a lot of false information out there about. You may have heard it, you may have not. The question is, is it safe to leave ammo in a hot car, especially in the summertime, with the heats we're having now, you know, the temperature levels we're having now, is it safe to leave that ammo in there or is it gonna cook off? And I got this question from a viewer because they said they were talking to a gun store manager, possibly the owner, and they told them, you should never leave a loaded gun in the car because the ammo might cook off, or you should never leave extra mags in the car or boxes of ammo in the car because, like I said, if it gets really hot, the ammo might cook off, even when you're driving it maybe. And I'm like, mm, that's garbage. Uh, not only is it safe to leave ammo in a hot car, but it's something you should definitely do. You can't carry enough ammo on you uh, during your everyday life to be prepared for everything. So in case you're ever separated from your vehicle while away from home, do, uh, be it by natural disaster, civil unrest, your whatever, and you have to flee your vehicle, it's become immobile, and you have to flee in a dangerous situation, you're not gonna have enough ammo on you for everything you might run into. You're gonna to wanna to have a prep bag in your car that has extra ammo in it. A couple boxes of extra ammo. Maybe some extra magazines to your daily carry gun. If not, a better gun than what you carry every day. Like if you carry a little tiny gun every day, have a full size gun in that bag. Keep it in your car. Now, about the ammo cooking off thing. It's nothing to worry about. But there are two uh, uh, circumstances here I want to deal with. One is just the ambient heat of the car. That is never going to cook off your ammo. It's never going to get hot enough. That ammo could get hot enough that it's going to burn your skin before it would ever ignite. It's going to take some pretty intense heat. Uh, you'll know if you're in danger of the ammo cooking off because, you know, your steering wheel would have melted already. So I wouldn't worry about that. That's just an old wives' tale. That's kind of like the, if you leave your Glock in the car, it'll melt. It's that kind of thing. But there was one specific situation he said the manager of the store brought up, and that was if your car caught fire in your driveway while you're driving, whatever, that fire might cook off the ammo. Well, in that situation, yeah, there's a small chance that could happen. If your car is on fire, the ammo could cook off. If it's in the fire, you can throw ammo in a fire and it'll go off. And he said, well, if that happens and you're in it, well, you might get shot with your own ammo. And if you get out of it, people around it might get shot with that ammo. Well, that is also bunk. Here's the thing. One, if your car is on fire, I hope you get out of it before it reaches your ammo. Hopefully you can grab your ammo and stuff and get out of it before that happens. But let's say you're not even there and your car catches fire. Are bystanders in danger because of the ammo in it? No. One, if a car is on fire, hopefully most people got the sense to stand away from it. You know, especially if they watch movies where they all go off like H-bombs when they catch on fire. That usually doesn't happen. But hopefully people will keep their distance. And here's the thing. If the ammo does cook off in that fire, which can definitely happen, it's just gonna sound like you had some medium powered fireworks in your car, like firecrackers, M80s maybe because there's not a lot of, of explosives in a, one am, round of ammo or multiple rounds of ammo even. But each round of ammo, even if it cooks off from the heat, it's just gonna be a pop. It's gonna be a pop. If you've ever thrown ammo in a fire, you've seen it. The only reason bullets uh, are dangerous out of a gun is because every bit of that energy from that explosion is directed directly behind a bullet in a closed environment where all the energy has to go linear down a barrel. That's when it creates enough velocity for that bullet to become dangerous. When it cooks off in a fire, the ammunition or the powder just pops. The bullet pretty much just drops away and it's just like a little boom, a little M80 or something. So no one's gonna get hit by uh, bullets. They might get nicked by a piece of cartridge. I've seen that happen. A friend of mine threw one in, uh, some rounds in a fire and a piece of cartridge caught him in the shin. A little piece of brass looked like wedged in, uh, wedged in his shin. Not a major injury. You might want to wear eye protection if you're approaching burning cars full of ammo 
Uh, but here's another thing. Don't approach burning cars if there's nobody in it. Uh, but like I said, the whole thing is stupid. Uh, yes, you can safely keep ammo in a hot car, even with the extreme temperatures we've had lately. It's not going to go off. If your car catches fire, well, hopefully you can get out quickly or that you're not in it at all. And if that ammo does cook off in that fire, it's no danger to anyone unless they're dumb enough to be rummaging around in your car while it's burning. And they happen to get a little piece of shrapnel in there skin or something, or maybe in their eye, worst case scenario. But here's the thing, don't be in a burning car. But in the end, it's not dangerous. It's actually something you should definitely do. You should have a couple extra magazines for your carry gun if your carry gun's adequate. If it's not, you should have an extra gun in there with magazines and extra ammo. It's not only safe, in my opinion, it's a necessity. Hey everybody, I wanna do a quick little update on a video I did a long time ago here. I had started building a battle belt or a prep belt a long time ago and never finished the video because I ended up not liking the belt. It wasn't very comfortable, but I got me a new belt here today uh, and some new stuff for the belt. So hopefully soon I'll have a video where I update the carry belt, battle belt, prep belt, whatever you wanna call it. I will update that video and then continue on to a complete belt and then we can compare what should I put on it, what didn't I put on it, what did I put on it that I should have, you know, etc. And everybody can share ideas about what they think should or shouldn't be on the belt. But just wanted to give you a little update. This new one is from Core. It's actually from the belt manufacturer of my carry belts, the belts I carry wear every day for carry. Uh, that was one of the problems with the old one. I couldn't get it to fit me comfortably. This one is supposedly way more comfortable. We will see, but I just want to let you know that video will be coming hopefully soon. And with that, I am done. I just want to remind everyone tonight is the last night you can donate to the Fur Friends Animal Rescue. You have technically till midnight tonight Pacific time, but I am not going to compile all the lists at midnight tonight. So I won't be compiling the lists until I get up tomorrow. So you probably have till 9 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow to get entered. As long as you've bought something by then, that's when I'll be doing the list, uh, creating my list for the drawing, and you'll be entered. So if you haven't gone over to tympistolproject.com and ordered a sticker yet, or actually just donated to the Fur Friends Animal Fundraiser, there's different levels you can donate at. There's different stickers you'll get as a thank you. And there's different numbers of entries you'll get for each level. It's all explained on the website. So if you haven't gone over there yet, please do. There's a link in the upper corner of this video. Uh, we will be doing the donation to the Seven Wonders Cat Rescue uh, tonight, we've done really well on this fundraiser. We actually hit our goal and we're exceeding it a little bit, but I did a little video earlier with a little more information on that where there is some bad news, but we'll deal with that later. Right now, the good news. We'll be doing the donation to uh, Seven Wonders Cat Rescue tonight. Uh, you have until probably 9 a.m. tomorrow morning to get entered into the drawing and to help with the fundraiser. Uh, and also, Come to the live chat tonight if you want. It's at 5 p.m. Pacific time tonight. It's at 6 p.m. Pacific time most nights, pretty much every night except for Monday and Wednesday when it's at 5 p.m. because we're the opening act for Never Enough Ammo's chat. So go on over, donate to Fur Friends Animal Rescue, help us push us even further beyond our goal. I'd like to get to 11,000 now that we've surpassed 10,000. So go on over, do that if you can and you haven't already. Uh, then come join us in the live chat. Have a little fun. Uh, be ready to have fun and not be offended because like I said, it gets a little weird in there sometimes. But come on over, join us tonight. And like I said, with that being said, I am out of here. I want to thank everyone who's participated in the fundraiser, everyone who watches my videos, everyone who comes to the live chats. I want to thank all of you because you all make this possible. Every time we save a pet, it's because of you all. So I appreciate it. And with that being said, I just want to remind everyone out there to always carry and stay safe until I see you again.